You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The royal court has announced that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will be at the forefront to welcome His Royal the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, upon his arrival tomorrow on an official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain, during which His Royal will hold talks with His Majesty the King on the historic and close brotherly relations between the two countries and two people, in addition to regional Arab and international issues. The royal court takes this opportunity to welcome the guests of the country and the accompanying delegation, wishing him a pleasant stay in Bahrain. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa has blessed the people of Bahrain with a great achievement on this national day. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa received a cable of congratulations. His Majesty said that the great turnout witnessed by all to participate in the parliamentary and municipal elections of the people of Bahrain contributed to achieving a high percentage by all standards, a remarkable achievement which is one of the achievements of Bahraini popular participation that history will record for future generations. His Majesty the King thanked the people of Bahrain for their keenness to fulfill their national responsibilities, noting their awareness of their duties and their interests in building their future in electoral and constitutional institutions. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, on the success of the parliamentary and municipal elections. His Royal Highness expressed his sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King on the success which showed the solidarity of the Bahraini people to meet the nation's appeal for the advancement of the blessed democratic process. He called on His Majesty the King to provide health and happiness, prosperity and development under His Majesty's wise leadership. His Royal Highness expressed congratulations to His Majesty the King on the success of the elections, which affirmed the unity of the Bahraini society and their keenness to fulfill their national duties in order to achieve further development in the democratic march. He wished His Majesty abundant health and happiness and wished the kingdom further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa on the occasion of the success of the parliamentary and municipal elections, which affirms the support of Bahraini citizens to the democratic march and the reform project. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince hailed the loyalty of Bahraini citizens evident through their commitment to performing their national duty by participating in the democratic march. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness. His Majesty the King also received a cable from Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the success of the parliamentary and municipal elections. Her Royal Highness congratulated His Majesty on the unprecedented success of the elections for the fifth legislative term, 2018-2021, commending the awareness of the people to practice their democratic right, which reflected the positive and honorable results of the electorate process. She reiterated her thanks and appreciation for the development in Bahraini women's status, which is represented through the increase in participation in elections as a voter and a candidate. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, casted her ballot today in the parliamentary municipal elections at the electoral headquarters of Bahrain International Circuit. Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika, underscored the high level of participation of the Bahraini women in the political life in the kingdom through exercising their constitutional rights to run for elections and to choose the candidates of the Council of Representatives and Municipal Councils. Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika, also noted the active participation of the Bahraini women in the Democratic March of the Kingdom that was outlined by the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa. While casting her ballot, Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika praised the smooth and easy conduct of the electoral process that enables citizens to freely and responsibly fulfill their national duty in an atmosphere of integrity and absolute transparency. Her Royal Highness also expressed her satisfaction with the organizational procedures that reflect the serious work and dedication of the organizers of the electoral process. Her Royal Highness asserted that the Supreme Council for Women had a positive impact on encouraging and supporting women to widely participate in the political life through various programs, initiatives and measures. Her Royal Highness stressed the keenness of the Council to develop these programs and initiatives in line with the increase in awareness of women and the Bahraini society as a whole. In the end, Her Royal Highness affirmed that the loyal people of Bahrain with all its components send a clear message to the world that they are deserving to assume their national responsibilities and are keen to preserve the kingdom's gains. 
Representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa casted his ballot in the parliamentary municipal elections at the electoral headquarters of the University of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that the Bahraini democratic experience is unique in the world and it is becoming more and more mature under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, who made the Kingdom of Bahrain in the ranks of the most advanced countries on the democratic level thanks to the implementation of His Majesty his reform project and its noble democratic goals. His Honor Sheikh Nasser said that Bahrain's distinguished experience in the democratic field has become a model in promoting the values of national belonging and raising its banner high and an example used in the world for those seeking true democracy. His Honor said that the electoral process in Bahrain affirms its pioneering experience in the parliamentary and municipal work and the political work under the reform project of His Majesty the King. His Honor Sheikh Nasser noted that the parliamentary and municipal elections in Bahrain today and voter turnout underscores the awareness and conviction of citizens in the integrity of the approach adopted by the Kingdom of Bahrain to make the Bahraini people a true participant in decision-making as the people are a source of authority and work for the Kingdom to move towards progress and prosperity. His Honor Sheikh Nasser expressed confidence in the people of Bahrain to choose the best and those who will represent them in the next parliamentary and municipal elections who have a great responsibility in drafting the legislations that guarantee Bahrain progress and prosperity and ensure the preservation of the gains achieved by the Kingdom of Bahrain in various fields. His Honor also appreciated the great efforts exerted by the Supreme Committee for the general supervision of the elections and ensuring smooth running of the electoral process in all respects. اليوم العين تشهد والأرقام إن شاء الله راح أيضا راح تشهد لنا ولكن نحن متفائلين بهذا النجاح والإقبال الكبير اللي من الجميع ولله الحمد The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, cast his vote today in the parliamentary and municipal elections at the general polling station of Durrat Al Bahrain. For this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, on the success of the 2018 elections. His Highness Sheikh Khalid underscored that Bahrain's democratic experience has embodied the goals of His Majesty's reform project that enabled the kingdom to gain an international elevated status in regards to political and democratic practices. He added that Bahrain became a model for democracy through the legislative and executive bodies that cemented the principles of freedom and partnership which was met with a wide participation with regards to municipal and parliamentary nominations and elections. His Honor said this only asserts the Bahraini people's high level of awareness that shall drive the kingdom towards a bright future. Sheikh Khalid stated that this wide participation signifies the citizens solidarity with their leadership in fulfilling their national duty and one of the main pillars of His Majesty's reform project that aims to the provision of an adequate living standard for the people and further advancement for the homeland. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa cast his ballot in the parliamentary and municipal elections at the General Polling and Sorting Committee in the University of Bahrain. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed that the call of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on citizens to exercise their political right of voting in the parliamentary and municipal elections charts a new chapter of national success stories. He stated that the achievements made during the era of His Majesty the King with the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince are a source of pride for all citizens. He added that selecting competent candidates will contribute to achieving further advancement and reforms for the country and its people. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah stated that the government has adopted a remarkable approach as one of the outcomes of the government forum under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, an initi initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to determine its future aspirations. He noted that the approach can create a government action plan that is based on foundations that stem from practice. The Deputy Prime Minister hailed the events that the university has organized to encourage students to participate in the elections. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah also commanded the High Committee to oversee the elections integrity to facilitate the citizens' accessibility to the polling stations throughout the kingdom, as well as the smooth election procedures and high standard of organization.
Representative Council Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah asserted that the success of the 2018 parliamentary and municipal elections reflect the success of His Majesty the King's reform project and the democratic process in Bahrain. While casting his ballot at Wadi Sail Elementary and Medical, Medical School for Boys, al Mullah hailed the large turnout of Bahraini voters, which reflect the awareness of the citizens and his keenness to fulfill the national duty. He also affirmed that the keen interests of the voters reflect the loyalty of the peoples of Bahrain to the leadership and their kingdom to combat any challenges. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Salah al Salah praised the citizens' keenness to participate in the parliamentary and municipal elections, which came as an expression of the citizens' support for the democratic and reformist approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa. Al Salah also praised the efforts made by the Supreme Committee to oversee the safety of the elections to ensure the conduct of the electoral process, through which the committee proved the ability of the kingdom to organize this great national democratic celebration in an atmosphere of transparency and integrity. He extended sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa. Bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of the elections, which affirmed the people's support of their leadership to consolidate the principles of development in all fields. Interior Minister Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa asserted today that the parliamentary and municipal elections 2018 are one of the fruitful results of the comprehensive reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He said that the wise leadership of His Majesty the King reinforces the political and national achievements. After casting his vote, the minister highlighted that the high presence of citizens at the polling stations reflects their sense of responsibility, national spirit and love to the nation. He said that voters are appreciated for being nationalists, adding that the citizens are taking their decisions within political freedom at Atmosphere. He hailed the awareness of the citizens of the importance of unity in the phase and their national sense to protect the civil peace. He asserted that Bahrain moves with confidence towards a prosperous future because of the nationalism of its people and the solidarity in the society. He said that the keenness of citizens to participate in decision-making reflects their dedication to show their support to the leadership of His Majesty the King to improve Bahrain's capability to face challenges and achieve further growth and prosperity. Bahraini voters turned out in large numbers to select their representatives at national and municipal level in polling today. The preliminary rate of voter turnout has been announced at 67%, well above the 53% witnessed during the kingdom's last elections in 2014. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali al-Khalifa, revealed that the participation figure after the close of polling and said that the increased turnout builds on the success of the 2014 elections and ensures a clear mandate for a parliament representing the diverse range of views in Bahraini society. He added that Bahrain's commitment to exercising their ballot was a clear indication of Bahraini's support for the process of democratization and showed the rejection of external forces who have deliberately sought to derail the electoral process. The 2018 elections have seen a record number of women candidates, with 39 women standing election to the House of Representatives and eight for municipal councils. The relative proportion of younger voters taking part in the election also showed a significant increase, with more than 50,000 young men and women eligible to vote for the first time. Telling their beauties. All the Polling stations around the kingdom closed in the 2018 parliamentary and municipal elections after Bahraini voters cast their ballots to elect their representatives in the representative and municipal councils. As soon as the polling stations were closed, vote counting began under the judicial supervision to ensure fairness and transparency. Earlier today, Bahraini voters went to the polls to cast their ballots in the 2018 elections to choose their representatives in the municipal and representative councils in its fifth session. These parliamentary and municipal elections come after active campaigns during which new figures were recorded for the number of candidates. The elections executive committee announced the possibility of the voters to vote through subcommittees according to the constituency where they reside and the possibility of voting in the 14 general polling centers. Voters are not required to vote in a polling center within their constituency. The committee also noted that the provision of transportation for voters to to the polling stations in light of its keenness to enable citizens to exercise their constitutional right. The voting opened today at 8 a.m. and ended at 8 p.m. We would like to highlight the polling centers have closed at 8 p.m. tonight and witnessed massive participation from both citizens and residents who headed to the polling stations. GCC nationals and other nationalities who own properties in the Kingdom of Bahrain have had the right to cast their ballot in municipal elections, while citizens can vote for both the parliamentary and municipal ballot boxes. Participation is much, uh, I can see the people there more than I think so last time, according to the newspapers also that abroad this time also they are, the people, number of people are more than before and I hope so that uh, the vision of King Hamad, it will be more effective and uh, in coming years we will see the more 
democratic values in regard through the, this election and i hope that the new coming parliament members they will uh, they will they will see the problems of the people of their con constituency and uh, they will fulfill them according to their issues according to their wills so this is the this is my vision the voting process is very easy i came at uh, 10 o'clock so i can see there is no no such kind of uh, any hurdles any problems and uh, more people are coming often, more people are coming now to participate in the future as well. Well, it's, it's excellent and very easy. There's no problem, very manageable, you know, like uh, it doesn't take time and we have to participate in this. All these people, Bahraini or whatever, you know, that they should come and do the participation so we can see the people who are selected for us and then we can, you know, continue for the country, to development, for everything. It is very easy, very comfortable, no problem. We didn't have to wait just one minute here, second minute there, and third minute we are out. I mean, before also we did, but this time I feel it is very easy and more comfortable. I mean, uh, uh, national duty, we have to participate in an election uh, to, to choose a uh, I mean, good candidate who work for us and serve for us. Good. It's second time I came here. Uh, it's very good, very easy. Uh, it's not took long, very easy way to uh, board the people. Uh, I don't know exactly uh, uh, because I'm a very busy person. I don't uh, meet and um, I mean do much of the people. But maybe they are work hard. They are young people. Uh, should be work hard. They hard. The electoral process in Bahrain affirms its pioneering experience in the parliamentary and municipal work as well as the political work under the reform project of His Majesty the King. From the University of Bahrain polling station, voters and even visitors were impressed. The process of choosing the candidate was very tough this year. We had a lot of candidates with high caliber, each one with their own initiative, each one with their own vision. What impressed me most was that uh, these candidates not only had a plan, but they had also certain KPIs which is I'm going to do this and this year, and this is how you measure my performance. I'm proud to be here today and participate in the election process. I'm also proud to see a significant number of women's participation and representation. Uh, this year we have over 40 women contesting in uh, the election. Uh, this reflects His, uh, uh, His Majesty uh, King Hamid's vision to have more women as contributors to the growth of our beloved country, Bahrain. Today that uh, this is a special day for people in Bahrain and I'm very impressed to see that uh, people from different ages including the youth, the elderly and people with special needs all come uh, to the voting centres to cast their votes and this is something that uh, is very impressive and most of all I see that the flow is very smooth and people don't have to wait long, everything seems to be well organised. 